Oh. Hold on one second, man. Let me grab this. Okay. So check it out, man. I'm going to let a couple more people come in here real quick, but. Yes, sir. Uh, shout out to General Lecho. Um, there you go, homeboy. I don't want no problems, man. <laughs> Big figures, what's cracking, man? No name. Rich Gonzalez, I said mine's in full right back at you, my boy. The Boss Hog, Santiago Ramirez, Funny Money Spider-Man. All you cats, man. Everlasting Bass. Big Toko. Spider-Man. Yo Daddy. HD. Carrillo's P. Hub City. Shout out to Hub City. 310 in the house, man. Papa. Good evening, man. Uh, what's up? What's he checking in from? Vegas. Damn. Love Vegas, man. Shout out to Vegas, man. So check it out, man. I'm going to probably say this a couple times because a couple times because I know that there's going to be more people tapping in. There's only about 30 of you in there right now. But how you doing, Sandy Flores? Palmero, what's up, boy? So <laughs> I should have just let the whole video play through, man, without cutting it. But it is what it is, man, though. Uh, B, you live? I, I think I'm live. Am I? You messing with me, boy? Straight up, Toko. You know, you know what's up, man. Uh, hell yeah. Uh, what's up, Goyo? So look, man, this is the thing. So I was I, it was supposed to. I was going to play the first part, and then I was going to play the second part right after. It, it's showing that it's going to take an hour for this for the part two to render, man. I'm not going to premiere it. What I'm going to do is, is uh, because I know a lot of you probably want to see that video, I'm just going to drop it, man. When it's done rendering, it's just going to be on the channel. It'll probably be up within the within an hour. It's 8 o'clock right now, so... Just give it, give it somewhere around nine o'clock, man, and uh, it'll drop. You guys want to check out the second half? I purposely cut it off right before he hit him to tease you guys, man. But it wasn't supposed to go down like that. I got a bunch of other content that I'm, I'm dropping right now, and it's, it's, it's all back. It's backlog right now, man. That's what it is. So, um, we talk about the Lancho situation. I, I kind of told you guys, um. Uh, for those of you that tuned in to the live, when was it? Yesterday, the other night, whenever it was, um, there was a lot of issues that, that I wanted to talk about in regards to uh, his journey, some of the things that that, that took place out there on the those S and Ys, uh, some of the some of the functions uh, with regards to how those S, some of the S and Y um, gangs operate out there on the S and Y, and just a lot of different shit, man. And a lot of different cats that we both know ended up on the S and Y throughout the years. You start doing time, you start doing a lot of time, man. And you know, over the years, you see a lot of homeboys drop. That's it's sad, but um, you got to hear the rest of his story, man. It's 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 heartbreaking to hear that shit. You know what I mean? Um, like I told him. You know, I don't get up here and I don't I don't preach the gospel against the NF, man. I'm not up here hating. I'm not a sour deal that that that's just up here mad and disgruntled about my situation and just constantly just giving it to the NF. I don't do that, man. It's not my thing. Um, I know I, I sound redundant. I've said it before. My thing is it just if there's homies that still want to be a part of that lifestyle, hey man, you got to make your own choices. You got to lay in your own bed. That's all good. I'm not, hey, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not mad at you. 
that's that's your choice, man. But what I what I do try to do is let homies know um what they're really signing up for. Shit that they're not gonna get told. Um, you know, shit they're gonna realize after it's too late. That's what I do do, man, because um a lot of times that stuff is it's not it's not told to you, man. So you know, just hearing this homie story, man, uh, it, it, it's heartbreaking to hear about the cannibalizing that the homies continue to do out there, man, on these main lines. Half of the, the, the incident, the incidents that this guy got into were against homeboys. I'm just sitting there listening to him, man. You know, he gets, he gets uh, discouraged by that household he landed in when I mean, when, when you guys know how it goes, when you get to a household, you're going to be on, you're, you're going to lightweight be on freeze until you go through the screening process. That's how it goes, man. And those of you that have been to the joint, those of you that have been around, you know that for however long it takes, three days, a day, a week, nobody likes to go through that 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 process man you know because you're not fully embraced and you feel like you know you don't anything's possible anything can happen during that time before you're fully embraced hey homie wake, welcome to the household here's the hhps um this is who's here and and this is where you fall in line right so for that individual to have him write records and get a disposition on a, on a fucking beastal fucking uh, 115 is crazy, man. I don't see it, it's irrelevant, but bottom line is it discouraged him. And then he went on a he went on a journey to where now he didn't really want to lock it up. He's doing a grip of time, but he ends up getting in cells with homies that don't know. He's trying to slip through the cracks, but now he's like, you know what, man? Uh, I fit. You know, I can feel it in the air. So when I get my cuffs off first, I'm bombing on this cat. Good homeboys getting bombed on. Good homeboys getting hit, man. It's it's uh it's just a fucked up thing to listen to another another homeboy's uh story, man. And a lot of it had, you know, th this tyrant came later. Lencho came later, man. And um, you know. I've talked about the dude quite a bit. You got her, you guys have heard me talk about this dude, but listen, listen to listen to how this dude conducts himself. This is supposed to be a C. He's supposed to be a carnal, somebody that's supposed to inspire the little homies. Instead, this dude's coming across as some kind of arrogant fucking um cat that's that's full of himself and that he he's he's basically, you know, he's putting himself above the law, man. And um uh, that's how Lentil's always been, man. You know, every time I've ended up in the oil with that cat, I shut his motherfucking punk ass down, man. And that's why it's always been personal with me and Lentil, man. Oh, nah, you ain't going to have the homies eating out your hand. Nah, you ain't going to keep a thousand pouches up there while the homies are getting rationed out. You fucking, that's, that's that dude Stilo, man. That's what he does, man. But uh, anyway, part two is going to be coming out later. Listen to it. Check it out, man. Uh, uh, everything that happened to this cat after that point, it didn't. It didn't even have to go down like that, man. He was a good homie. He was. He was, like he said, he was hungry. He was ready to go out there, do whatever he had to do. And then he ends up in a household where you got some individual that's pushing a hard line. You know what I mean? Get your disc. He, he writes records. Get gets all his paperwork, and that took that took a long time. It took three months to get his paperwork. He gets his paperwork, and they're like, "Hey, homie, you got a you got a you got a, a one fifteen hearing for a for a, a wine for having Pruno. Where's the disposition? Oh man, I don't got it, bro. You know, I I don't know. Well, you got to write records and get that disposition." Come on, man. Is that even necessary? But uh, I don't know, man. Um, it's crazy, man. But some of the individuals that I, I've talked about recently, um, fucking Joey Cates, that dude turned into a full-blown tranny, man. You guys are going to hear it, man. It's, it's fucking unbelievable, man. It's it's comical. Um, Glenn Escalette, you know, a lot of those cats uh, all landed over there. Marty, Marty Marr. Uh, Marty Lomas, um, Gibby, 
all them cats, man, they end up over there in Mill Creek or these or, or EOP or fucking uh Sad F, man. Um it's a trip. Same old natural, yeah. Straight up, man. No. Uh, <laughs> just hearing that shit, I I can picture that dude, man. You know, I can picture him, but it, it's comical that he got caught slipping by a young homie. Um, he put he pressed up on him, he, he belittled him, he degraded him. Um uh, and he, he got this guy to the point where he was like, man, I just want to cut this dude. This dude's a fucking tyrant. You know what I mean? He, he, uh, he threatened me. Uh, and he got caught slipping. And Lencho couldn't even come out there and be honest with the rest of us. Uh, the rest of us C's that were out there. Because like I told you guys, we were all in Quentin together. Me, Lencho, um, Smokey from Salinas. I think Bubba was there. Wino from Salinas might have been there. Um, Nicoya, Chewy from Frisco, all NF members. And Lencha was supposed to get out two weeks after. Uh, we, me and Smokey were about to fall out the same time. And Lencha was supposed to fall out two weeks later. But this, this fucking dude, man, he comes out there. And he, he you know, when I, I see him, he's got a good little gouge on his face. And, um, you know, it wasn't nothing crazy. It, it didn't require stitches or nothing like that, but point made, you know what I mean? Uh, but he comes out there and I'm like, the first thing I ask him, like, damn, bro, what happened, bro? And he's like, uh, oh, man, you know, it was over there at Salinas Valley under escort on the day I parole. Two Nazi lowriders slipped their cuffs and they got me. That's what he said, man. Uh, and you know, he, he didn't want to admit he got caught slipping. You know, like I like I told you guys, man, uh Salinas Valley, it's a loud prison. It's it's loud as fuck over there. The the way that those prisons are built, they're all the same, especially in those ad saves or those uh wherever, whatever that was over there, overflow, EOP, whatever it was. But it's almost like if you're you're on a homeboy's door and you're talking to him, it's almost by by habit that you're going to lean into the door to hear what he's saying because you, you can't hear him behind a, a solid door. So it's almost like a fucking habit, but he still should have had the, the, the presence of mind as an NF member to him not knowing these guys to, to not put himself in a vulnerable situation like he did. And he fucking did, man, because he's a big old dummy. You know what I mean? Straight up, man. No, um, he fucking went for the banana in the tailpipe. He put his fucking mascara right there on the fucking crack, and this little youngster got him. He made him pay for it. <laughs> oh man, it's comical. And then when he got him, they all yelled out, Nueva Floor. You know what I'm saying? Homeboy's not about that, but that was fast Eddie. Fast Eddie was like, Hey, when you get him, we're gonna yell that out. And the homeboy was like, I don't care, man. Do what you want. I just want to get him. But it's comical, man. Yeah, man. Hit them likes. Uh, let them know, EBK, man. Hit them likes one time, man. Uh, I feel bad. I feel like way bad. It was 300 people listening to that fucking, uh, uh, to that video. But like I said, man, uh, it's rendering right now. <laughs> there goes the second half, man. So as soon as... Uh, As soon as it's done, I'm just going to drop it, man. So you guys might want to periodically check. They're not, YouTube's not giving out no notifications, man. Um, Boxer, that sounds like the homeboy from Salinas, LB Lobo. Huh? Lobo it used to be just like that. He always wanted everything and anything. He, you talking about LB? Yeah, you know, I know LB, uh, Goyle, LB and uh, Smiley, Rico. You know I know them cats, bro. Yeah, I, I know uh, I know how Lobo was, man. I had to clean up. Well, shit. I had to clean up him and uh, Rico's mess out there in Salinas. I couldn't get nobody to function in that, in that 
regimen initially when I did all my grunt work and I was getting homeboys uh, uh I was out there scouting trying to get homeboys to 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 plug in with the regiment they were discouraged man oh uh, Mike you just got whacked they laid Mike Eel down and people were like, nah, man, I'm cool. I'm straight. I'm not fucking with you guys, man. You know what I'm saying? Because if you guys are going to whack somebody like MC, where the fuck that leaves somebody like me, man? Nah, I'm cool. You know what I mean? Uh, so, yeah, man. It took a lot of uh, goyle. It took a lot of... Uh, I sat in a lot of fucking living rooms out there and talked to homies, man. And, you know... Had to encourage encourage them to come back and let them know hey that was that was their reign man that's what they were doing man that's not how it's supposed to be uh, it wasn't supposed to go down like that man that's a dark spot in history and it's always going to be one man and um all the way to the top bro everybody knew everybody knew that that was a bad call man but uh yeah him and lb uh they, they do have a lot of sa the same characteristics, man. Arrogant. Uh, want to, you know, heavy handed, want to want to intimidate the homies, man. Uh, uh, you know, lead by lead with uh, by intimidation, man. Uh, first part was a good spill. That's right. Uh, big figures. How about them Niners? I don't even know what they're doing right now, man. They better be winning. What was the benefit of a gang working with? What was the benefit of a gang working with the NF? Well, I mean, the benefit, uh, by having some of the homies out there working, working with the regiment, um, a lot of doors, a lot, a lot of resources were going to open up for them. They're gonna, they're gonna be in a position to make a lot of money. Plus, you know, they're gonna. Everybody else out there is gonna know, you know, uh, um, if let's just say, for example, out there in, in San Jose, man, uh, uh, San, SJG or uh, VSJ, they're working with uh, with the regiment. You know, all the other hoods out there are gonna know. They ain't gonna want to fucking uh, get into it with. They're not gonna want to get into it with them. They're gonna know that they're they're tied in with the NF. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, like I said, they're just, they're going to have a lot, a lot of resources. They're going to make a lot of money. Um, and a lot of homies, you know, they should want to, they should want to work with the NF and they shouldn't be, uh, discouraged, man. But at least that's the way it's supposed to be, man. Um, you know, a lot of these little youngsters, man, they never, they never, uh, have the opportunity to work with an nf member a lot of them have never even met an nf member man um so i mean there's 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 benefits man there's pros there's cons man um it just depends and, and it also depends on the rc every rc is, is different man you know the format of how this the the coc is established and the objective and the purpose, it's all the same, man. It's it's supposed to be, at least that's the way it's supposed to be. However, uh some individuals they, they you know they run it a little different, man. Um and that's when you know that's when uh issues start start coming up, you know, taxing the, the hoods out there. Uh um I seen a lot of funny shit over the years, man. Or it doesn't do nothing but end up discouraging these youngsters, man. But good game tonight, Ravens. Did you ever get locked up in Monterey County Jail? Yes, I did. I got rushed in the hallway. That's you guys are gonna hear about that too, man. No. Uh, on the phone with one 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 hand um, handcuffed. I had one hand loose, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna talk about the. Yeah, I went over there. Two or three times um when i hit monterey county jail there was too much there was too much shit going on within the organization rico and lobo were back there um i came in with the big nuestra familia tattooed on the back of my head so right away igi was like oh fuck no nah, you ain't going back there oh uh, we don't know you you're not from salinas 
so you just doing a violation we're gonna put you in a fucking observation cell and you gone you're on the first thing smoking wednesday morning you out of here special ticket i think i stayed there for like two days and three days one time man they got me up out of there quick even though the homies back there in in uh c pod sent me a big bag of shit and we're like hey that's the homie man let him come back there they were like nah man there's too much shit going on right now we don't know where that cat's loyalties are at man so yeah they put me in a in a in a cell fucked up cell man a, a observation cell with like a, a a black velcro thing on the window no books no program nothing just sat there man uh, i sat there in that cell for three days just marinating man king kong ain't got nothing on me <laughs> yeah the level of disrespect on this channel <laughs> well lencho he's a fucking tyrant man you know how it goes boy has the nf ever green lighted a whole neighborhood yeah yes they have Is Lancho the greatest member to ever live? <laughs> Shit, yeah. How he made it for as long as he did, man. He's a he's he's a greasy motherfucker, man. He, just a greasy dude. I see you, Maxine, CEO of Annoying Cholos. Let me see where that video is at. Still rendering. What the fuck? Fucking YouTube, man, are tripping. I'm gonna release another video right now on uh maybe this will make it render faster, man. We'll see. All right. Let me know, let me know if you guys get a uh, a notification right now. Waiting for another video, homie. Got a shout out story for for us at all. A shout out story. A shoot oh a shootout story. <laughs> Man, I gotta reserve those for my uh. My war stories, man. You want a shootout video, huh? I'll give you one tomorrow, man. It's been a couple days since I dropped the uh, Inner Demons or a war story. Cha 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 cha. Yeah. Big figures. It's chocolate, not mustard. Hey, you guys. Uh, when you when you guys see this this other uh, other thing that's coming out on Lecho tonight, the uh, um. This other video, check out the thumbnail, man. Motherfucker got mustard on his shirt. <laughs> Fucking hilarious, man. Well, maybe not, because they flagged that video, too. Fucking bastards, man. I don't get it, man. I don't get what YouTube's doing, man. Maybe it's the fucking, yeah, I just dropped it, uh, S1. They flagged Lencho's video, I am the general. I'm thinking maybe it's because the fucking word general, man. YouTube, when it, when it, whenever it comes to politics, um, anything political, it automatically, that algorithm fucking flags it. So I'm thinking that might have something to do with it, man. So, so I'm going to, I'm going to. 
I'll delete it and I'll try to upload it one more time and change the the general. Take the general out, man. Um, makes no sense. What's up, Lupe? Toco Loco Boxing, what was the most notorious, most respected, most fierce, most legendary person from your hood? <laughs> Peace out. I'm not legendary, boy. I'm uh, the most notorious person from my hood. No? Um, I don't know, man. I had a homeboy that uh, I used to kind of look up to this cat, man. Um, he wasn't a real violent type of cat as far as like stabbing and, and shooting people in the hood. Um, he, he used to put hands on a lot of cats. His name was Babyface. They called him Face, man. Um, he's somebody that was lightweight. Uh, he's a reputable figure in the hood, man. Yeah, let your flag. I know. Um, the 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 two Roach brothers, uh, Eddie Roach, or Little Roach and Big Roach, both both of them. Um, they got a lot of history in, in the hood, man. I would probably say those guys right there. Uh. Bear with me, man. Let me put this. Uh, where's that at? Stocked in. This one's for you, uh, Spider, Spider Man. Uh, bam. This one's for you, my boy. I'm gonna release this right now. Still trying to finish, still trying to finish sail on. It's for you, my boy. I just released it right now. Fox, you think Salvador Gangster Castro rides with the feds or state? Um, I would think he rides with the, with the feds, man. I, I don't know. You got a lot of cats only that are playing both sides because they they just don't want to get caught up in that in that drama, man. So. There's no telling. What about your Puerto Rican monster, homie? Which one? Puerto Rican monster. From uh from the city? Uh yeah. Uh, uh he put a little dent in the hood out there, but uh, I appreciate that, Maxine. Junior eight three one. Hey box, I got seven thousand batteries. <laughs> hey, you're bullshitting, but I really do got seven thousand batteries, and I'm not even bullshitting with you, my boy. Hey, I got like uh, I got three coolers, big coolers. You know those big fucking uh, coolers you take to a picnic, full of batteries. Um, nine volt, double D, triple A, double A. You name it, man. I got so many batteries, I won't even use, I can't use them all in my lifetime. That story was, yeah. You see the picture of me, man, uh, caught on tape? Big old dummy. That, I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie, man, that was, that was embarrassing, bro. Get caught like that. 
It was embarrassing, man. Uh, um, uh, uh, what do they call the uh, merchandise? Uh, um, uh, somebody help me out, man. Uh, uh, what's it called? They're called uh, merchandise uh, re recovery, merchandise prevention, something like that. Double D's, I got all that shit. But they're the ones that, that pulled. Yeah, no, they told me straight up, uh, Junior. They said, man, I'm going to tell you like this. I, yeah, loss prevention. There you go, North Cal Raider. They told me like this. Just check it out, man. I'm going to be honest with you. We've been watching you for the last three months, and we got like seven videos. See, because what I was doing, what my dumb ass was doing was I put my pallet jack, I put my pallet jack, in a certain spot right by the dock right and on this side of the pallet jack they had shelves so i was going in the shelves since i was on this side of the pallet jack the camera's on this side and i was just cleaning these shelves out but the problem was they couldn't see me they couldn't see me when i was pulling the shit out but when i moved the fucking the pallet these motherfuckers they're now empty why i didn't think about it i don't know but uh, they, yeah, they're like, you know what, man? We got you on like um, seven videos. Uh, I'm gonna tell you like this, man. Just just one one display stand of batteries that you took is over two thousand dollars, and that's grand larceny right there. We have enough right now to give San Mateo a fucking de uh, a open and shut case on you right now, and they'll they'll fucking they'll be uh they'll be happy. You know what I mean? Uh, but we're not going to do that. So they gave me a break, man, but dumbass for some batteries that I didn't even need. I don't know. I have no idea, uh, Dan. I think uh, maybe that's the klepto in me, man. I had the fever. Once I started taking shit, I mean, my, my, my garage looked like a fucking, uh, it looked like a swap meet, man. I had everything from Cosmetics, uh, disinfecting, uh, swifter uh, mop wipes, uh, soap, food. I start taking those big ass refrigerators. The refrigerator like that right there. We the monster right there. That refrigerator right there. Um, that one I paid for though. So if there's anybody on YouTube with some foul intentions, I paid for that. Uh, but I had a garage full of them, man. I had like seven of them. Sold them all on YouTube. 300 a pop. They went like hot cakes. All right, Len uh, uh, General Lentil. You tap into that video, man, and you uh, you uh, pay attention to, to all the shit you cause, man. Here's another one. I'm going to drop this one, too. Um, How about fuck it? I'm gonna use this thumbnail until I until I can get another one. It's the closest thing I got to work with, man. Hey, Boxer, were you a fan of Woody's music? Did you ever run into him in the streets? Yeah, I ran into him. Yeah, I used to slap his shit, man. I'm not really too much into rap, man. Um, I fuck with a little bit of Bay Area rap just because they're from the Bay. 
I, I listen to more more um I listen to oldies and um old school. That's what I that's what I bump, man. But yeah, I used to I used to slap some of Woody shit, man. You guys get another uh, notification right now? Any Hunter's Point stories? Yeah, I do. For oh, fuck, you know I do. Hunter's Point, man. That, uh, HP used to be cracking out there, man. I seen a cat get his motherfucking brains blown out in in uh, Hunter's Point. The Baby Joker show gonna be gonna be on tonight. What? At 11, what channel? Every Brandy831, I see no notification, uh, Maxine. Give it a second. What's up, Lucky Lucky Loco? Is that your is that your channel? What's your opinion on Northerners on the NGN being expected back in large numbers nowadays? I don't know, man. No. Nikoya, uh, he's still around. But, uh, he's, he's not fun. He's, he don't function no more. Um, yeah, they hit him in, in, in the feds. Uh, yep. Yeah, I did drop hella shit, Sess. I ain't bullshit, man. I'm I'm uh I'm going for the throat, my boy. Oh, so what was that question? Um uh, expected to be back in large numbers nowadays. I, I don't I don't I don't buy into that, Mike. I think um you know it just depends, man. Um I mean they have that open they have that open door uh, policy for some cats that have been pushed out for unjust reasons to come back and pay some hefty ass ten thousand dollars, man. Oh, um, not too many, not too many cats will come back, man. Um, they will take a chance of of putting themselves out. I don't know. It, it depends. I believe some some might come back, but um, I don't I don't think big numbers are gonna come back. There's there's too many people, uh, too many homies getting discouraged, man. On reels TV, uh, I don't got it, man. Fucking bastards. I missed it last time. Somebody record that video and shoot that shit, man. Record it and send it to me on a. Uh, uh, on a weed transfer if somebody can record it it'll be super cool I used to work out with Nikoya that boy was hella strong yeah he's a he's a big boy Nikoya was a big boy Box you talk highly of Eddie Roach what happened with him I just talked to him he's so he's uh he's doing life right now for double double homicide um he's the if you guys if you go back uh boss player you probably remember me talking about it i had a well gibby is one of the dudes we're going to talk about in the second interview anyway long story short let me try to sum this up i was with gibby in susanville when gibby i was like a fucking little young pup look i got this picture the other day too uh Look like looking like Mikolo and shit, man. Um, this is my homeboy Wizard. This is a, a legendary picture right here. I've never had a, a picture of my homeboy. He he died, and uh, 
in the in the in the white shirt in the t-shirt anyway um so i ran into gibby over there in susanville he was like 21 22 i was around 21 22 at the time and uh he ended up selling up with a homeboy of mine named federico arvalo from frisco he was hermano been around for a minute anyway they end up paroling they both paroled and uh Federico was the type of hermano that he didn't, you know, if he felt like he was being pushed up on, he wouldn't contribute. Well, Eddie Roach in the in the the you know the brothers out of the regiment in, in Frisco tried to press him and he's like, I'm not paying. So they were like, all right. Um they called Gibby, had Gibby tell him to go out to San Jose. He lured him out there and they were waiting for him the whole fucking regiment was waiting for him to pull up and um you know the fucked up part about it is there was another homeboy of mine named barry san jose um that just gave him a ride man he didn't have nothing to do with nothing but when uh when they pulled up they gave it to both of them man just because barry was there and they they, they didn't want to leave nobody behind um so they smoked both of them um uh, i hit i hit pelican bay in 93 92 92 or 93 and i just so happened to hit the same pod with big roach and little roach they were both sellies right there in uh c c5 c5 b pod and he was stressed out man they were porters and he was like fuck bro it was like i'm thinking santa clara is gonna come back and snatch me and i had no idea what the fuck he was talking about i didn't know I, you know, I had, I didn't make that connection anyway. Uh, when he got ready to parole, they snatched him up and that was 92. He's been down ever since. So shit, man. Um, uh, what is this? Night this 2022, 92, 93, 92. Been down 30 fucking years, man. God damn time flies. You know, hopefully he'll he'll get a chance to see the 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 outside one more time before it's over, man. Uh, they're letting a lot of people out, so we'll see. Yeah, that's that's what I was talking about, uh, Spider. So at least some of you are getting a notification. Yeah, I try, I try, AC. Yeah, but uh, um. He's been down 30 years, uh, uh, boss player. So he's got, you know, they're they're letting a lot of lifers out, man. Dudes that that got two, three homicides and shit, man. Uh, so, you know, his older brother Louis, he's out. He's been out. He's, he's doing his thing, man. So I don't know. We'll see. Box, let's shoot that pinochle. Get your partner. Man, I shoot, I shoot some nux, boy. I play nux all day. Who's your partner, uh, Junior? Baraccio. Much respects, boxer. Recently I subscribed. I unsubscribed to a lot of the 69 drama <laughs> YouTube channels. You got a good story and you always keep it real. Man, I appreciate that, homie. Oh. Um, yeah, man. Uh, uh, I I try, bro. I try to uh, stay away from the drama over here, man. You know, uh, I, I let them other guys take care of all that, man. Uh, try to be drama free, bro. While they're trying to figure out ways to um, sabotage each other, man. Um, I'm trying to figure out ways to make this channel better. So I'm glad some of you recognize that, man. You know, I'm not. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not. I'm not, um, you know, I've gotten pulled into drama before, but it's nothing that I initiated. Somebody fucking running their mouth about me saying something that, that you just can't let go. Um, you know, for the most part, man, I stay out of that shit, man. Oh man, I shoot that shit box. Watch out, man. Maybe you could be my partner, uh, Spider-Man. Um, Junior said he shoots that shit, man. Thirty years, yeah. 
You ever lived in the projects? Nah, I never lived in a man, but shit. I used to, I stayed in the motherfucking projects when I was a kid, man. Um, uh, Sunnydale, Swampy Desert, Swampy D, man. Um, I go to school in the morning, I punch in for homeroom, and I was gone. My stepdad used to, used to, uh, used to sell weed, so I, He'd be gone, and I, I, I'd sneak into a, to their room, him and my mom's room, and I'd take a handful of fucking weed, man. Back in those days, all they used to have was Thai stick, Buddha, Buddha Thai, Sesamean, Skunk, and Indo. That's all they had, man. But I used to I used to get like a big baggie of that shit, Take it to school, and uh, I grew up with Africanos, man. There's a lot of Africanos. Uh, I got kicked out of all the schools in the city in the mission, so they sent me to a, a visitation valley. It's all blacks, so I used to I used to bring the weed, and I used, we used to put our little lunch money together and go in on like six, seven forties, man. Uh, old English, you know, kick it in the projects all day, man. It's when they had the the Geneva Towers was up. What was the craziest projects in SF? Shit, it, it either had to be uh out there in the Fillmore, Sunnydale, or uh, Hunters Point, man. Out there in HP, man, it's kind of crazy out there. Run Trump, pull your tops. Oh, you trying to spit that shit, huh? Shit, I shoot that shit, uh, Lupe, like, uh, to where, like, they ain't getting no books. They might get, like, the first three. I remember all cars, all cars played. I run all my shit. I make my tens bad. Robert Robert Garcia, there goes uh there goes the gentleman right there that uh gave up that interview, man. Uh I see you, Robert, man. Uh, I appreciate you again. The second uh the second part is coming out. It should be coming out in the next 10, 15 minutes, bro. Again, I appreciate you, man. Uh, it was a good interview, bro. And I'm glad we got to set the record straight, man. I had at least 20 people to trying to teach me how to play pinochle. Made me a cheat sheet. Nah, you ain't lying. That's how it goes, uh, uh Lupin. That's how it goes. Yeah, homeboy, homeboy had a good story, man. It was a good story. And uh um, you guys gotta tap in for the second half, man. Like I said, uh Hey, hey, Rob, there was 300 people tapped into that, man. Uh, I should have just let that motherfucker run all the way through. Should have let it run all the way through, but um, I'm not going to premiere it. I'm not going to make him wait till tomorrow night. I'm just going to drop it when it comes. As soon as it gets, uh, as soon as it gets clear, I'm going to drop it. So you still play chess? Hell yeah. I could play chess right now without the board. I don't need a board. Straight, straight truck, and I don't need a board, man. 1329. 1329, 12, 28, 7 to 22, 7 to 22, 2 to 19, 6 to 27, Bishop. <laughs> you think I'm bullshitting up? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Good video. Appreciate you. Let me get that off. P.S. I meant Lancho's neighbor was a black guy. Yeah, I already I already put it out there, homie. Um, when you said that, um, when the video was was going on, um, fuck, it's been so long since I premiered. When it was premiering, and you said that, I jumped in there and said he meant 
he met his neighbor. So you're good, man. I saw his story on Gunner's channel. That's why I asked you if he did. Or, yeah, you know, like I was saying, man, I'm sure Gunner had uh, uh, good intentions when when uh, he dropped the video or when he did the interview. Um, but you guys got to remember, a lot of what Gunner put out was based on what I had talked about. I'm the one that I'm the one that dealt with Lancho. Um, I'm the one that put all this stuff out there about Lancho. A lot of these guys, um, a lot of the stuff that they put out is is based on what I, what I've talked about. So I don't think he was really. Uh, <laughs> he was. Uh, how, what's the word I'm trying to think of, man? Um, he was really embraced or or you know from what he said man when he jumped on gunner's channel and he told the story a lot of people were like ah get out of here you're lying and so i could be wrong but i'm thinking that you know a lot of people maybe they were like nah man b already put it out there and b's not gonna you know put out no bullshit so that's what I, I told him. I was like, hey, bro, I think uh, they'll, they'll be more receptive when when we go on and, and we put it out and we set the record straight. Um, so I'm glad we did, though, man. You know, I'm glad we did, man. What was your dream car as a youngster? Do you like foreign beamers and bands nah man i like american-made cars fuck that i never had a beamer never never had a bands um i my my dream car was a 1970 chevy chevelle um yeah that was my dream car man did you get to check check out that yeah i did i checked that out uh last night man Anthony Merkovich, yeah, I'm glad he did too, man. What was your favorite spot to go in the Bay Area growing up or in Frisco to be exact? Um, my favorite spot. I don't know, man. I had a few. I mean, I always liked the pier I always liked fucking around out at the pier man you know there's there's like um excuse me there's all kind of shit to do out there man like i don't know if you guys ever uh you can go out to the pier and you can get on one of those little boats a personalized boat when are you gonna visit Cabo? shit man i'm thinking about sometime soon seriously man i fell in love with Cabo. that's probably the best i ain't been too many places man Cabo was one of the places I've been. I got a lot of good memories from just that one spot, just that one week, man. Anyway, uh, um, you know, there's there's a for those of you that have been down to Pier 39, the wharf, you can go down there and you can jump on one of those little boats for uh, I don't know, a hundred bucks, fifty bucks. Um, take you all the way out there to the to the bridge and, and back around by Alcatraz a little small personal boat not the ferry man these little small fishing boats it's better um but the pier I like fucking around down there um La Raza Park when it used to be when La Raza Park used to be the place to go that was one of my spots and then um uh, I don't know the beach. The beach was cool, man. You know, Ocean Beach, man. They're, imagine there's people that live out there in like uh, Utah or like uh, some of these Midwestern states. Motherfuckers never even seen a beach in their life, man. Never been to the ocean. Fucking gizmo. Send mine back. Send mine back to you, Machete. Let me see where that video is at. Gizmo! Damn, 
mercy. So the, uh, I guess that impasse video is fucked up too. Um, I'll straighten that out, man. Let me let me take that offline. For whatever reason, shit didn't download. No wonder it got clear. So when I get off, I'll fix that, man. Uh, Let me see how much longer... uh, Goyo, here's Goyo's diet, man. Check him out. Two little fucking burnt, burnt uh, drumsticks. <laughs> I'm messing with you, Goyo. Two drumsticks, some mixed vegetables, and uh, some 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 rice, man. That's right, boy. Let me see how much longer, man. How much longer? DJC, I have never seen and heard a lot growing up. I've never seen, been a nobody in that world, but had a lot of homies that were. And I have to have to say everything you have ever said has always been facts. Yeah, I, I appreciate it, Sino, um, DJ Sino Evil, but that's... Uh, um, but that's, that's, that's what I... I I try to be accurate as I can. I don't, you know, I don't. I don't have no no purpose in coming on here and, and fabricating or embellishing a bunch of misleading stuff, man. I try to give you guys the real, man. Uh, that's why. That's why I do it. So th- it's fifteen more minutes, man. It's a three day weekend. Tomorrow's a holiday. Oh yeah. So you guys can stay up late, man. Watch this video tonight, man. So it says 15 minutes. It's at 80% right now. <clears throat> Let us park by, by Safeway at that dead end street where they have like the three benches. <laughs> yeah, Cam. That's where um. Where we elephant man that one cat the dude used to be he was a homeboy and we ended up uh smashing him that was let us apart what's up demo I also worked at Joe Crab Shack in Frisco while at Halfway House. <laughs> That's right. Who was the biggest dope boy you knew in your hood or in SF? You should do some vids on them. <laughs> the biggest dope boy? Um, Babyface used to be tied in with, um, with the Blancos, man. Um, when, when, when John and uh, James and John Blanco were, were, were doing their thing, um, he was like the he was like the go to their con- contact in the city, man. Um, so they were moving a lot of KJ out there in the city. Everybody was fucking on that shit back then, man. I I don't know why cats used to like that. I went through a phase where I used to smoke it just because the homies were smoking it, but. I didn't enjoy it. There was nothing about that shit that I enjoyed, man. For one, I used to feel like my head was going to pop every time I smoked that shit. And for two, I would end up, and don't laugh, man, because this used to happen to everybody. All the homies, man, um, in the city. 
I'd end up getting dusted and I'd be walking around. Uh, I'd see these police reports and they said that, that I'd be walking around in robotic movements <laughs> and that I'd be banging on somebody's door in the middle of the night uh, for, for no reason. To, and they, they take me, they, the cops would pick me up. I, I'd fight with them because I was, I was high on that shit. And then they take me to the San Francisco General Hospital, put my ass on a fucking gurney, strap me down, push me in the corner and pull the sheet and be like, shut the fuck up. When you can shut up for 45 minutes, we'll let you go. You keep talking. You're going to stay here for a long time. Everybody, that's what they used to do in the city. Never touch cage. Yeah, man, there ain't nothing cool about it. I remember hot boxing in the car with, with the homies when I was a kid. And we'd be in there passing like two, three lanyards around four of us. As soon as you hit one, another one be coming. And we used to fucking, we used to roll like the, that that blue rock and that white rock. That fucking, ugh. And we used to put so much in there, man. The ro- the, the papers, the rolling paper would, would almost turn transparent. It would get like almost wet with so much KJ sizzling in that shit. But I remember hot boxing and, and kind of like just going in the zone, man, like on a fucking tripped out, going somewhere else, man, in my mind. And and then coming to and seeing the homeboy, that homeboy that was in the passenger seat, he had a, the, the, the glove compartment open and he'd have his, his forehead laying on the glove compartment, drooling. The homeboy that was driving would, would be doing the same thing, drooling. Like that shit you said. I there was nothing I enjoyed about it, man. It's not like a, a high that you can enjoy, man. That shit puts you on your on your fucking uh that shit puts you out, man. Newsom gonna close Susanville. I heard about that. Was KJ cheap? Uh, Lanyos was twenty dollars a $20 a joint, twenty dollars a joint, man. Um, I forget how much grams used to go for 80 bucks, 100, 100 bucks. True story, man. I ran into, um, I ran into uh, little total James Blanco. In San Quentin, and that motherfucker, I, I sat at a table with them, and that motherfucker handed me a lanyard. In San Quentin, they still had KJ. <laughs> did you ever smoke blunts? Yeah, I did. I did a few times, man. I, I ain't really into blunts, man. The, the um. I don't know if it was the paper. I'm old school. I, I, I roll them up with the fucking uh, the, the zigzags, man. But I don't know if it was the, the paper or whatever it was. It was like smoking cigarette. Whenever, whenever I use a blunt, the paper, swish your sweets, I get dizzy, man. Yeah, you're right on the price. That's what it was. Mm-hmm. Boxer, would you ever just smoke KJ with, with Gizmo and just enjoy the day? No, man, uh, Gizmo's a freak, man. Um, Gizmo's with that freaky shit. I don't trust Gizmo, man. Did I take it? Did I take what? What you think about that story, father, son? Which one, Anthony? Uh, Merck. Shit, man, check this out. Let me show you guys something, man. You know I I was doing my thing. Look. Put 
put you up on some game right now. See that? You can't really, you can't really appreciate it. That's my shit, man. I dumped most of the videos. I was going to show you guys this video, but oh, here you go. Can't really see it, man, because it's those buds man so you know you know I smoke my shit man I got my little stash my own little day No, nah, you don't see no C's, man. Hell no. Nah. Ain't no, ain't no, uh, what do they call her morphodites. Not one C. Nice try, though. Oh. Eat that butt, man. Get that. Oh. finished product man shit machete I would too uh that shit came out fucking fire on it came out way better than I thought it would straight up man it's uh 
cat piss, uh, uh, gelato, um, uh, what else did I have a lot of? Cat piss, gelato, um, cheetah piss, some, um, Most most of it was gelato, man. But there there was a uh, what the fuck was that? Nurple purple. Shit is straight purple, man. No, uh, a lot of, a lot of different strains. I like as far as growing, I like cat piss, man. Cat piss, it it grew. Uh, I like the way that it grew on the fucking plant. When it was time to to cut that motherfucker down, it was like just big big buds and then it was just a long piece of stem a big ass bud long piece of stem that came out crazy man look show you guys one more i'll show you what the cat piss looks like on the branch when you when you're up so Still ain't got my bike yet, Machete. Hey, good looking out, Richard Morales, man. I appreciate you, homie. Fuck did it go, man? I'm going to check that video real quick, uh, you guys, one second. If it is, I'm going to drop it and I'm going to kick rocks, man. Fucking dogs, man. Look. Take that out. <laughs> Let me see. Damn, man. How much longer? Uh, it's too late, uh, Timo. That shit was everywhere. So, you know. Mm-hmm. Granddaddy perp. 
Yep. Got some of that too sour diesel. Most of them were mixed, were mixed uh strains, man. I know I had sour diesel mixed with something else. Granddaddy perp mixed with something else. Some crazy names, motherfucking Aqua Boogie, uh, Red Velvet. He does, uh, Timo. He's a bully, bro. <clears throat> when it comes to other dogs, man, he don't fucking uh, he don't let nobody eat. He growls. They they're they they're scared to take their treats. If he's anywhere around, they, they won't even take him. They'll, they'll turn their face and like they don't. I don't know. I don't know what he tells them. Like I'm gonna fuck you up if I see you take something. He tells them something. That's right. Uh, uh, UBG. Um, I appreciate you, homie. Oh, um, yeah, it's been a couple of days since I dropped some new ones, so. Tomorrow I'm probably gonna drop some uh, new inner demons in, in uh, war stories, but I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you tapping in. Elephant man hybrid. <laughs> Where did they come up with these fucking names, man? Little dog complex, yeah. Oh, you heard him, Anthony. What the fuck is up with this video, man? Let me see. You'll like it, Timo. Trust me. Come on, Sam, man. Where you at? How much longer? Processing right now. Yes, sir. Just made it too, homie. Hey, it's still processing, man. It, it um, for whatever reason, he said it said twenty minutes, like twenty minutes ago. Um, it just says processing, so it should be. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, Timo. It's a good question, man. I wish you would have. I ain't gonna say nothing. I wish. I wish we could have been Sellies though in Santa Clara County. God damn! I wish we could have. We could have been Sellies, man. Nah, I really don't. I really don't. Oh. Um, Jihad Amir, um, I was gonna, I was gonna premiere it tomorrow night, but I'm just gonna drop it, man. Um, as soon as it gets done processing, it's rendering right now. It should be done within the next 15, 20 minutes. Um, so it's gonna come out tonight. 
Just bear bear with me for a little bit. Part two is coming out tonight. I'm just going to, as soon as it clears, I'm going to just drop it. Let me see something. Let me, let me just check something. I could do it right here while I got you guys on YouTube. Uh, bam. Nah, I don't want to do that. Uh, let me see. YouTube. You guys, right now, let's not do this, man. Well, maybe not. Uh, The name was it. Yeah, I don't know. It it'll be coming out, man. No. Um, not too long. Let me see something. Hold on. I can see right here. Uh switch account. Bam. Studio. So your video is being checked for ad suitability. This usually takes less than 20 minutes to month.
trying to see, man. Um, Eighteen minutes left. Anyway, you guys, man, uh, I'm going to go ahead and tap out so I can get some more. Uh, I can work on some more shit, man. You guys uh, tap in, tap in a little bit. The the other half will be out, man. It should be out anytime. Maybe uh, if I go and get these other videos downloaded and clear, maybe it'll, it'll speed up the process or pause the other ones. So maybe I'll try that. But uh the other half, part two, will be coming out tonight. I appreciate everybody that tapped in, man. All you guys that are supporting the channel kind of feels like those Hula or Netflix series where you're on, on the edge of waiting for the next episode. This is a good thing. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Um, it's better than me uh, trying to make you guys wait till tomorrow, tomorrow night. Uh, that just be wrong, man. You know what I'm saying? I should have just – I thought it was – the second half is a lot longer. I didn't know I was going to run the interview that long. Uh, the first half was only like 20 minutes, but it's coming out, man. So bear with us. Be a little patient. It'll be coming out. I'm going to see if I can do something to make it drop faster. But you guys have a good night. Stay safe. Enjoy your uh, enjoy your three-day weekend, man. Um, and uh, we're going to keep dropping content. That's what we, That's what we do, man. All right, you guys, and for those of you that I wrenched some of you guys up tonight, um, I'm going to wrench up a couple more of you guys that, that have been around for a minute. So when I do the premiere tomorrow night, I will be premiering something else. It's probably going to be about Kern, Kern Valley. Kern Valley and Kern, um, Kern Valley and North Kern. I get them mixed up. There's two of them, but... Uh, yeah, I'm going to start doing the fucking federal prisons next. So I'm running Calipatch, Calpat, uh, Corcoran, the Bay. I already hit you guys with, uh, um, with uh, what's the fuck? So you guys got Salinas Valley tonight. Before that, I hit you guys with uh, High Desert. So I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit a couple of these level fours and then I'm gonna hit some of them federal prisons, man. So we're working over here, man. But all right, you guys, man, I'm gonna go ahead and tap on out, man. You guys have a good night, and uh, I might be back tomorrow. We'll see. I'm out, man. <laughs>